So you decided to upgrade your WordPress plan. If you want to decide which plan is the most suitable as for you, you've come to the perfect video because today we are going to compare the prices and also I'll show you the way of how to get the best possible conditions to join WordPress uh, with a paid plan so basically you can easily start to use it for free they have like free trial but if you decided to continue using them they have like premium personal business commerce cloud and enterprise plans so if you want to use it just for your purposes personal and premium are good but for devs and for merchants they have like business and commerce and definitely uh, you have the option to save up to 55 63 or 69 percent if you're going to pay early like for one year for two years for three years but if you're going to pay monthly you'll get these prices like nine dollars for personal 18 for premium 40 for business 70 for commerce 65 for cloud but basically as you can see early subscription is like uh 55 percent cheaper so definitely if you want to use it for a long time you can find the most suitable early plan as for you so let's compare the features what do they provide uh, basically uh, if you want to compare for example premium and personal uh, business and commerce so as you can see they have like common features such as unlimited pages unlimited users Time machine for post edits, online forever, free domain for one year, uh, unrestricted bandwidth and visitor stats. So all plans have this feature, but for example, premium instead of personal, it has fast support from our expert team. Uh, also, they have like even more storage here, 13 gigabytes instead of six. Uh, also, of course, they have like common features like contact form, smart direct and so on. But what's really important is that other features are almost the same. But on design and customization, they have like customized fonts and colors. It's really important to know. So you'll be able to change fonts, to change uh, colors for them. And basically, that's all uh, other features they have like the same maybe with growth and monetization tools like earn uh, with word ads and in dev site analytics dashboard uh, but i think that if you want to use it in more professional way of course premium is the most suitable uh, but uh, as for devs as for commerce business and commerce plans are really really good so you can find that all the features are almost the same but in commercial way uh, we have like that for commerce all the commerce solutions are available but for business uh, they're available only with paid plugins so you need to pay a little bit more to get them and basically uh, commercial has zero transaction fees where like uh, dev version has like two percent and yeah so uh, the best plan is for your personal using is premium for commerce is definitely commerce and for businesses, business. Hope this video helped you out. Leave a like, subscribe and goodbye guys.